trigger happy and I give less than a fuck. Love me or hate me, I'ma show no rip shit up. It's Mr. Nothing, nice on a mic stand. Mike in the left and the zest in my right hand. I took a puff, had enough now, hold up. If that was in dope, niggas getting rolled up. Yeah. What's going on, folks? This is Astros. I'm gonna review Eminem's Music to be Murdered by Side B. Now, basically, this is his most recent project, minus Curtain Call 2, and I would definitely kind of say it's another of those Eminem albums I think is kind of up in the air as far as how talented and how actually quality it's compared to, like, his first wing of his career and stuff with albums like Slim Shady and Marshall Mathers LP, but I kind of look after it. There were some interesting things in point that kind of bolstered this Eminem album with things such as the 2020 election, COVID-19, the pandemic, and just overall kind of the product of life circa the social distancing times. Now, Eminem doesn't really get overt with this sort of stuff. It doesn't really appear as if it affected him that much, but I did at least like the concept. I mean, Eminem finally does start to answer a few things that were kind of complaints, at least a complaint that I've had about him in the past. And folks have said that for example, like Eminem is kind of like headphone music, but he actually does not do that this time. He has a variety of styles that he kind of tries on here. This is still kind of an underwhelming record. It's 13 songs, and for the most part, it's pretty bunk in my opinion, but I did at least like the attempt and what Eminem was wanting to kind of make out of this. I mean, it, it's showcasing things that Maybe the concept of, like, current Eminem is not as bad as it seems. I mean, in no way, shape, or form do I think this is a classic, and the, the Eminem where he had the Midas touch with albums is there, but that's not to say that there's not any songs of note on this project. It's just kind of more where I feel like nowadays Eminem has kind of become more of, like, a pick-and-choose individual, or that's what you have to kind of say is. I mean, I, I've, talk, I've talked about this with Snoop Dogg also, where you look after it. Snoop Dogg has, like, 12, 13, 15, 17 albums, so it's kind of underwhelming to expect him to drop classics still at this stage when he has probably over 35, 45, 50 singles and hits to his name, and Eminem's kind of in that same category also, where you just have to handpick and kind of cherry pick some of your favorites, and that's just what kind of happens now. I mean, initially, I mean, I, I held my breath with kind of listening to this project just because I wasn't sure what what to expect from it. I realized that two years ago, I kind of thought, well, I'm not necessarily sure as far as like, I'm not necessarily sure as far as like the context of what would be worth of approaching just within this typical vibe of it. But I, I certainly got... Like, I certainly appreciated the fact that it's it has things about it that are worthwhile. So that's kind of the concept. So I'll go ahead and talk about some of the singles. Like, for example, when we talk about the single Nat, the thing about Nat, for example, is the fact that it's actually, I really like the production on this song. It's just so mellow and kind of like a quiet storm type song where Eminem's not pissed off as he was on like Kamikaze and not quite as uncertain of himself as he was on Revival. But it is, I mean, even like the first music to be murdered by really didn't have any songs like this. I kind of felt like he was going for different vibes with Godzilla kind of being like a kind of watered down club romp and then the darkness kind of commenting on a shooting in kind of an awkward way but nat just really nails it i mean that's pretty much like a home run at this stage just saying how mellow it is like i said how quiet storm it is and just how easily eminem kind of tears that part song apart and i look after it and i would have to say i really appreciated like the overall i mean it just this the kind of light guitar plucks just the way that that kind of happened and Eminem's kind of calmness on the song, and it's it's just an overall surprise as far as how, you know, like, solid and stable that song kind of was concerning, for the most part, Eminem kind of flies off the handle these days, and it usually either winds up causing the fans to grief or causing himself to grief, so I'm glad that this was just kind of a, a clean hit, it's just too bad that, like, I don't know the chart, I don't know what the chart, I guess we could look it up, to see what the charting range of this song kind of was, because I'm interested in it. I would like to, 
fun to see as to how well this song did because this was really like the only single. Yeah, it didn't do that well. I mean, that's the thing about it. It only hit 60 on the Billboard 100, so it's kind of like I was surprised. I definitely think that this song is head and shoulders better than Godzilla or Darkness or any single. This is basically Eminem's best single that I've heard since about probably Recovery. I definitely feel like it's that good in terms of just the Quiet Storm type feel that it has. It's excellent kind of vibe, just easy, wasn't angry, just complete, perfect st stability on that song. And um, the second single, at least the other single that he dropped the music video for was Higher. Now this song was kind of a retread of like Till I Collapse. It just felt like a, a more recent version of Till I Collapse from the Eminem show. Didn't really appreciate it. Kind of felt like a, a mixture of survival and then Till I Collapse, both of which those songs are better than higher. I mean, this is kind of Eminem back on like his kind of different, you know, kind of like uh, random and less like focus kind of vibes that he typically has i mean i really couldn't get into the production it really felt similar to survival but i just could not appreciate how like the it, it did not have like the same cohesion and just like correct stability that like nat did and i definitely feel like it i mean he's done this kind of topic before he's done like with songs like guts over fear and Till I Collapse and Not Afraid and Survival, but this was really not a good rendition of kind of like a gym workout kind of get me amped kind of song. I just didn't really do it. But another song that kind of might have been touted as a single was Killer. And this is another one I really like. This is one of the few songs besides Nat that I liked off this project. Apparently it has a remix with like Jack Harlow and some other cat. I'll look that up in Corday. So, um, the thing about this song is it's a club song. I mean, this is what I was talking about where Eminem listened to people's complaints, where he actually dropped a couple of club songs. I feel like Nat is definitely a good weekend, Friday night kind of club song. And then this is pretty good also. This is a lot more appropriate for a club. I was like, wow, this is Eminem on some lit type stuff. I was really surprised. I was like, hey, this is like one of the first times Eminem has not just had headphones over your ears music where it's just kind of mellowing out and just studying to or kicking back and watching television to or just you know surfing the internet to something like that i was actually surprised that that just had the 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 fluorescent kind of vibe of stepping out a little bit and cruising around in your vehicle and that type of stuff really nice i mean i felt like that was a good one i think it's too bad that the remix didn't wind up on here but the original song is good on its own so those are some of the singles from this project but just to kind of talk about it, I mean, I really feel like there's just not a lot to this project. I mean, really, like, I feel like the Dr. Dre beats were disappointing, like, both, like, the Dr. Dre verse on Guns Blazing. I don't know what it is about Eminem and Dr. Dre team-ups anymore to where they cannot just nail this. Like, I would have preferred to have heard Dr. Dre on Nat or Killer as opposed to Guns Blazing. It's just not a very interesting song to listen to. Wasn't excited for it at all. I felt like the production just kind of did not captivate me, just did not have anything compared to like some of the better beats. I mean, Eminem is learning. I, I mean, I'm sure he's made good club songs before, but this the cohesion that he displayed with the club songs that he did, even if they were in short supply, it just showcases that that's the Eminem that could be really volatile. But he kind of wasted a Dr. Dre feature with Guns Blazing, and he wasted a couple Dr. Dre beats with She Loves Me, and discombobulated i definitely felt like discombobulated at least the beginning of that song the first two verses i kind of felt like it seemed like eminem was kind of doing like his relapse stuff jackal goldkick has kind of talked with me about this in the past it felt like that was kind of what was happening but then there's a beat switch at the end and it just kind of ruins the song and they should have kept it with the same format that it had but Dr. Dre just really didn't come through on this project. I don't know where the relapse and relapse refill Dr. Dre is or the Marshall Mathers LP Dr. Dre. That's just nowhere to be found. So that needed to step up. And um, like there's also a severe lack of interesting topics. I mean, a lot of these just have like one or just pretty straightforward topics when you, topics when you look at songs like Nat, Higher, Killer, Zeus, you know, tone deaf. I mean, these are not very intricate in terms of all that. Tone deaf really has an uninteresting beat. It just kind of sounds 
like you're at like a junkyard or something. I can't even think of where that beat would really be played. Is this an awkward kind of him saying that he's tone deaf to all the people that don't mess with him and that type stuff? Alfred's theme pretty much has one of the worst beats on here. I know that that was off of like Alfred Hitchcock back in the day, but I had no business being on this album or having Eminem rap on it. It was just that bad. I felt like Black Magic was kind of a faux pas relationship song. I mean, I like Skylar Gray's hook. She did a good job on there, but it just felt like Eminem was kind of going through the motions. He's done better songs for the ladies than that. I felt like Superman had so much more bite, and the songs he did off of Encore had better relationship bite also. It just kind of felt like he was sleepwalking through that kind of song. It's the only real song for the ladies. Favorite Bitch is kind of a tired pun on like saying that rap is his favorite bitch and kind of being disappointed with how it's turning out. It, I really could have thought that the production on there could have been better. And it just, it's not really that interesting to hear Eminem gripe about rap when really he's not doing too much better. I think that's kind of the concept. I mean, really, I know that trap is kind of predominant and there's a lot of artists who kind of do mumble rap and that type of stuff, but Eminem, you know, he, I mean, he, the Eminem from 2003 has room to talk, but at least not, you know, his trying to master like what trap is about nowadays is just not really helping. And that's taken as an example in Book of Rhymes. That's the song where he tries out trap. And I want to say he also tries out trap in These Demons. I really, you know, I have to stress this. I really don't like Eminem on trap beats. I really feel like like Royce the Five Nine, for example, on his The Allegory album, he didn't even attempt trap, but the thing about it was he had some good stuff on there. I know I gave The Allegory a bad score, but I appreciated songs that Royce the Five Nine did, like uh, Thou Shall and then Black Savage, I think it was called. You know, those were some just good songs that kind of had like an outgoing kind of bop where it just was not trying to emulate another style and that type of stuff. And Eminem did it. I mean, that he did that on this project. He didn't copy like various trap producers and that type of stuff. I mean, Nat, Zeus, and Killer all were great club songs from Eminem that really showcased a side of him, even if he's drug free, that showcased him, showcased him not being a square and having like more personality than about 50 rappers in one, which he needs to do way more. If he would have had a whole album of beats like Nat, I would have said absolutely this would probably be pretty much Eminem's best since like Relapse or Recovery, but eh. So that's just a number of tracks on here that just kind of don't go along that well. But there's only 13, there's only 13 songs on here. So I'll go ahead and list the three songs out of 13 I enjoyed. And I think I already said them in various cases, but the three songs I recommend to you are Nat, Killer, and Zeus. All of these kind of have like a real outgoing feel. And I feel like this is a new taste of Eminem that definitely needs to be pumped into more and showcased more. Is because before he starts getting to be too much of an old codger, we need to get some more of these beats out. I mean, Royce the Five Nine kind of did it in a very light sense on the allegory, but he was at the top of his game lyrically, lyrically on that album. And I feel like Eminem kind of is doing that here. I mean, he has the lyrics. But when he's on the right song, like these three songs I listed for you, I really feel like that's an Eminem where he could have his bite and get back to, to where he was in the Marshall Mathers LP days. It is, it's just that simple. I mean, those are the kind of beats that are going to showcase the best of Eminem, but it's just unfortunate that we have to kind of cherry pick these. I mean, I guess some people would say, hey, he's Eminem, he doesn't need classics anymore, but I still would have liked to have had more than three songs that I wound up liking out of 13, which I kind of think is the concept. So that's kind of the remark. So me liking three songs out of 13, I'm going to probably give this album, I'm trying to think of what would be appropriate for three out of 13, because like... 3 out of 12 would be like a fourth of the projects would be a 3. I'm going to give this album a 2.5 out of 10. Like Just like I said with the allegory. Now, I wound up buying the allegory by Royce the 5'9 because there were like 3 or 4 songs out of 18, 19, or 20 that I liked and are pretty solid. But I kind of feel like this record is underwhelming. There's just a lot of things to kind of complain about on here. But then I also kind of feel like the moments where Eminem came through really surprised me. And I feel like it's still worth the purchase, if only for like a small handful, a, a small batch of songs that are worth it. 
that's just kind of the concept as far as that goes. It's just trying to say it's an improvement for Eminem, but I don't know how much it's going to be showcased just because we have to look at it and say, like, I don't know if, like, I mean, there's just a lot to complain about compared to about compared to stuff that there isn't, and that's kind of the remark about it. But yeah, I, I want to kind of say in a more positive sense, just because it is good that Eminem has some club songs. I mean, this is what people have talked about: stop being so much headphone music, get out a bit, and stop being a square. Well, Eminem did it, but there's still a lot of bunk on this project. I don't like trap Eminem. Dr. Dre didn't come through. And there's a few other situations like the, the ladies tracks, uninteresting topics and some awkward kind of beats on here. Just, you know, that this is kind of the concept. I mean, I feel like that's another token that I need to talk about is just to kind of say the topics are really kind of uninteresting. I feel like for the most part, all Eminem is really talking about is just his lyrical prowess and, you know, batting away the haters, you know, scruffing off the haters like fleas or something and that's just kind of the situation or it's just kind of where he just doesn't have time for it anymore and it's like well unfortunately with all that you would think that there'd be some stuff to talk about because if we were to mix like Royce the Five Nines allegory where he had stuff to say with Eminem's lyricism and kind of somewhat better choice of beats in some senses not very i mean they're about even but i'd say probably eminem these beats were better than the ones on the allegory from royce but that is kind of the concept is eminem needed more interesting topics whereas royce needed more interesting beats so it's just kind of that's the whole remark about it but for what it is i mean once again if you dislike lyrics you might actually find a few more but i i really felt like i kind of pinpointed the club songs on here just for the outgoingness that are not so much just about I'm this awesome lyricist and I'm tearing things apart and I'm at the peak of my game type stuff. The braggadocious kind of, I mean, it's not like that bothers me. I don't mind so much Eminem being this good, but it's just kind of the concept that he doesn't have a lot to say this time around. So the social score, I'm going to give a four out of 10 because it did have three singles. I like two of them. And it's just unfortunate that this project kind of came and went and didn't have really much to speak of in terms of the velocity at which it reached. Because it, it did have some good moments. I definitely feel it's disappointing that Nat kind of underperformed. But it just seemed like Eminem was kind of in a rush, which is too bad. He just put out the project and disappeared, went back into the shadows again. And that was virtually it. But he should have supported it a little bit longer. And uh, I would have to say, like... In terms of the future, like that's easy enough because Eminem just dropped Curtain Call too. So eventually I'm going to review that. That's coming up. But at least I can say I've completed all of Eminem's catalog now. So this is kind of like, hell yeah, this is a surprise to me. This is definitely not as bad as I anticipated it to be, but it's still kind of very much underwhelming. So, it's you know, good stuff in some senses.